Hello YouTube, this is a response to uh, Everett. He said, uh, he made a claim that I certainly believe that he cannot defend. He said that uh, if you grant yourself induction, then you can get out of the problem of Cartesian skepticism. Or, or he, and then he said, he also said that uh, that if you don't have induction, or that the problem of induction exacerbates the problem of Cartesian skepticism. And I'm going to claim that our epistemic situation with regard to Cartesian skepticism couldn't be any worse. So, I don't know how the problem of induction could make things even worse than they already are. I mean, I take the problem of, uh, I mean, you could call it a problem uh, if you want, I don't know if you did, but uh, Cartesian skepticism, yes. As far as we know, um, we could be in the matrix, we could be in a physical world, we could be in some sort of virtual world, such as the matrix. Uh, you could be an idealist and think that everything that exists is mental. You could think that that uh, that there is no mind independent reality and that uh, objects only exist in so far as we perceive them. This is what George Berkeley uh, argued. You see, Berkeley was named after Berkeley, which should tell you how we should be pronouncing Berkeley. But anyway. So yes, um, uh, I take this situation very seriously, and for that reason, I am literally completely agnostic as to whether or not uh, I'm in the matrix right now. I have, n and here's the argument, here's the argument, okay? As far as I know, I would be experiencing exactly what I'm experiencing right now if I were in the matrix. Therefore, what can I point to? What evidence do I have to show that I'm not in the matrix? Well, I can't, I can't point to anything, because like I just said, as far as I know, I'd be experiencing all of this as I am right now if I were in the matrix. And as far as I know, I'd also be experiencing all of this if I were in a physical world, like most people believe that we are in. So, again, I, I, the point is I have no reason, I have no evidence that favors physical universe hypothesis versus the virtual world hypothesis. Literally no evidence. So I'm not sure, I mean, you can tell me, Everett, why do you think that the problem of induction makes the situation worse? I mean, it's not like, it's not like I had any evidence that I'm in a physical world in the past and that I just can't project that into the future. I mean, I never had any evidence one way or the other. So, please tell me why you think Cartesian skepticism is exacerbated by the problem of induction.